Player 2 has entered. Today's video we are going to be looking at a mirror image clone. This one's going to be sitting on a 3 second delay, but it will be editable however you like. And essentially whatever we are doing right now, the clone will be mimicking. This is all done using arrays, which in Construct behave like stacks. Let's take a quick look at what an array is. Simply put, an array is a collection of similar type data. Arrays are zero base, which means the first index is going to be index zero. Let's say we want to store all of our test scores in an array. It would look something like this. Then when we want to check out our first test score, we would call index of 0, or index of x minus 1, where x is whatever position you want to call. In our case, each index we track any information we want to hold on to. I've chosen to take in the x and y coordinates, as well as the animation name, animation frame, and whether we are mirrored. With all this information going into one index spot, our array is a bit more complex. We're not holding one value, we have five values. So when I push index 0, I also need index 0's x-coordinate, y-coordinate, animation name, frame, and mirror value. And I do this 10 times every second. Each time I grab the information, I push it to the front and pop out the last item. Popping out this last item will keep the array from stacking forever. And since we don't use anything past our 30th spot, all that information is good to be discarded. And I chose that 30th spot because I have a 3 second delay that I'm trying to work with and we're grabbing it 10 times a second. So 3 times 10 gives us 30th spot, which is index 29. So we'll call index 29, 0 to grab our x value and 29, 1 to grab our y and comma 2, 3, 4 for our animation frame and mirror respectively. So what's this look like inside of our code? Every 0.1 seconds, we're going to push on our initial x value and we're going to pop off the end of the array so we keep it at the same size. And then we need to go through and set our values 0, 1 through 0, 4 to all the extra values we were saying we were going to hold. So 0, 1 will take the y coordinate. 0, 2 is going to take a 0 or 1 depending on if we are currently in idle or run animations. 0, 3 will always take the frame that our hero is currently in. 0, 4 is going to be set to 1 if it's mirrored, 0 if it's not currently mirrored. And then at the same time inside of that 0.1 second we're going to create our additional clone and set its opacity to 25. And then we go through 29, 2 through 4 and set all the extras. So we have 29, 2 which holds whether or not we are in idle or running. 29, 3 which is going to be our animation frame. And then we set our mirror off of 29, 4. Finishing this leaves our code with two errors. The first 29 iterations, we don't have values stored. Essentially, we have zeros throughout our array until we fill it in, which means if we let it run, our clone would just be spawning at position 00, zero the top left, over and over again until it hit index 29 and started using our data. This is fixed with a simple condition to check whether or not index 29, 0 or index 29, 1 are not equal to 0, meaning the x or y coordinate of our character has been stored. And I use both just to get rid of the off chance that our character ends up on x coordinate 0. And this leaves us with our final error, endless clones. Essentially it makes us look like we just won a game of solitaire. Uh, they just print on forever every 0.1 seconds. So I put in a trigger as clone spawn, wait 0.1 second, and destroy. Then at the end here I added some pizzazz. I threw an on press space key to set the location to our clone. And then I reset the array by pushing and popping 30 times with a value of 0. And essentially this just sets me to the clone's position and then stops clones until we get another 30 iterations into our array. And as always, if you like the pretty progress bar, I do have a video that will show you how to do it. Check this one out here. Otherwise, I wish you the best on your coding adventures. Until next time.